<lacht> I, in der Tat. Gut, dann springen wir mal zurück zu Outer Sink. So. Vielleicht wäre es nicht verkehrt, wenn ich mir direkt mal wieder die eine Sekunden-Dinger hier hole. Ähm. Ears. <lacht> er das dann auch noch mitmacht. Ähm. Throw ice at her. Gut. Äh, ein Zehntel für nochmal zehn Sekunden finde ich auch gut. Are you okay? Stimmt, das haben wir letztes Mal gar nicht gemacht, deswegen kann ich das gar nicht überspringen. Gut. Damit haben wir aber mega viel Zeit, um das hier zu machen. Ich glaube, Lie Down und sowas funktioniert hier auch. Man muss gar nicht unbedingt Jump machen. Allerdings kriege ich für Lie Down nur 50 Sekunden, dann schmilzt das Eis halt, weil, weil äh, Eiba so warm ist und ich glaube, Date sagt, how hot are you? Äh, machen wir mal Jump. Wieder. Das gibt mir immerhin ein Fünftel. Oh, Mann, die Musik kann ruhig mal äh, weiterlaufen. Ich wüsste immer noch gerne, wie ich das Ding da hinten kriege. Vielleicht gibt's das, geht das ja irgendwie auf der anderen Route. Ich glaube, die andere Route ist, ähm... Ah, klar. Das weiß ich jetzt tatsächlich nicht mehr, aber es ist mir gerade, ähm... Mir ist gerade ein Licht aufgegangen, weil wir haben doch das, das äh, Fass hier vorhin schon mal umgerollt und da steht A-Set drauf. Und da steht, ähm, für Route B müssen wir ihn zum roten Regal bringen. Und wenn ich das hier runterrolle, dann liegt halt äh, das Fass beim roten Regal und da steht A-Set drauf. Dann rennt er bestimmt direkt dahin. Ich will immer noch wissen, was bei Phil kommt. Also mache ich das jetzt mal. Was das denn jetzt? Ist doch nicht Metal Gear Solid. Oder Fallout. Wobei Fallout war War Never Changes. Ne? Ich glaube, Metal Gear Solid 4 war das, was halt dieses typische uh, War Never Changes aus Fallout aufgegriffen und umgewandelt hat in uh, ja, das. Kann mich jetzt jemand gerne korrigieren. Hm. Rollen. Gut, das haben wir ja schon gehabt. Oh, das kann ich trotzdem nicht überspringen. Eine unglaublich wichtige Animation, die wir noch mal sehen müssen. Ich frage mich, ob auf diesem Weg vielleicht irgendwie... Aha. What is this? Das andere Regal so kaputt geht, dass ich an dieses extra Item rankomme. Gut. Ich wollte rasch wieder vorspulen, bis mir eingefallen ist. Das ist ja jetzt was, was wir noch nicht kennen. Ja, wird dann ja wohl die Anleitung sein, die da, äh, Anleitung, die Remote Control, die da runtergefallen ist. Ja, fünf Minuten ist auch locker noch genug Zeit. Ich will immer noch wissen, wie kriege ich das scheiß Ding da? Das sieht aus wie eins von diesen Dingsbums, die man aufheben kann. Ich muss jetzt mal hinlaufen. Ich kann ja nicht springen hier, das geht ja nicht. Kann ich damit noch irgendwas machen? 
Vielleicht Punch? Probieren wir Punch, vielleicht gibt's dann um. Hey, hey, are you upset? I am not upset. <lacht> hey, hey, are you upset? I am not upset. Hey, I am not. Hast <lacht> du? Äh, ja, okay. Ähm. Um. Whatever. Hier vielleicht. Rocket Punch! <lacht> We don't have a rocket punch function. <lacht> Not yet. Not ever. <lacht> Not ever. <lacht> ja, ja, Quaddel sind mir nicht dazwischen. Äh, Punch. Okay, dann war es das wohl nicht. Dann habe ich auch keine Ahnung. Ist er nicht mit dem Dings da hinten? Hat er schon mal irgendwas mitgemacht? Ich kann ja eh gleich zurückspringen. Ähm, ich habe ja den Anfang sehr effektiv oder äh, effizient gemacht. It appears to be a power panel. Äh, uh, pray. Please move. Besser noch, wenn sich das jetzt bewegt. Miracles and magic are real. No, they aren't. Hm. Sich auch nichts bewegt. It appears to be a power panel. Ja, ich bin ja dabei. Äh, uh, jump. I can make it now. Äh, uh, mal 10 Sekunden, throw something. This is an ice cold one. Liba, aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. <lacht> Na, wer hat das verstanden? Oh, muss ich das sogar machen? Das muss ich sogar machen. Christian, du hast die Referenz gerade bestimmt mitgekriegt, oder? Like that? Regardless of the truth, right now I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. Genau, Evangelion. This is annoying. Äh, irgendwann am das wo wurde er gegen das Penismonster? <lacht> nee, war das das Penismonster? Ich, irgendwann ist er doch da in diesem Raum und ist am trainieren und ich glaube dann kommt irgendwann das Penismonster. Ähm, da ist Shinji die ganze Zeit am trainieren und und äh, flüstert das, murmelt das die ganze Zeit sich selber zu. Was kann ich denn mit der Remote Control hier machen? Das Polonesemon kam davor. Äh, also ich glaube, ich muss einfach wieder Ota motivieren oder was auch immer ich mag. Aber ich will mal eben gucken, was es hier noch so gibt. Break. Ja, kein Stress hier. Ich habe alles unter Kontrolle. Ich will nur noch ein bisschen Quatsch machen, bevor ich das Richtige mache. Ja, ich glaube, das muss Ota machen. Äh, investigate. This remote control is for the crane. <lacht> Fuck, was ein Dickschwanz. <lacht> ja, da oben hängt doch so ein Kran rum. Kann sich jetzt bestimmt alle schon denken, was dann gleich passiert. Ota looks frightened. He cannot stand. Äh, machen wir mal calm. Mal was anderes. Ota, first you calm down. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I was ready for this when I first stepped foot inside. From start to finish. I'm a climax all the way. Ja, ich glaube, die Frauen im Bett mit dir sagen eher das Gegenteil davon. Ich 
Musik. <lacht> oh shit! Holy fuck! Voll den riesen Oschi da reingerammt. Moment, das klang jetzt auch irgendwie. Ihr wisst. Ich meine, das lange Ding da. Das ist auch nicht besser. Das, das, ihr habt es ja selber gesehen. Ich muss ja nichts mehr sagen. Oh. Oh. Kata, you've hit the limit. Time's up. Nein, Wait. Bitte. I can almost make out their face. Shooter, force shut down. Nein. Stop. Nein. Stop it. Ach so. Hätte er eh nicht abgekriegt. Ota A acquired. Ich denke, Ota B lag da auf dem Regal rum. Ich habe immer noch keine Ahnung, wie ich da rankommen soll. Und jetzt guck mal, das Auge sieht man, da sieht man es nochmal ganz kurz da hinten. Das sieht irgendwie gruselig aus, wie das nochmal von ganz hinten mich anstarrt. <lacht> Montag, Shogai. Was warst du denken? Du kannst nur in Insomnium für sechs Minuten bleiben. Nicht länger, und du riskst, dass deine Mind komplett von dem Subjekt wird. I know. No, you clearly don't. <laughs> This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Busted. Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Ja, auf Maya doch nicht. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did in fact see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his somnium. Well, Ota. Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. Ja, habt ihr ihn doch auch schon im Krankenhaus gefragt. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them. When the polar bear fell over. Wobei, an diesem Punkt hatten wir ja noch nicht, äh, also man kann ja auch diesen Pfad zuerst nehmen und den anderen noch nicht, so dass man immer noch, äh, die, wir jetzt mittlerweile nicht mehr, aber wenn man erst diesen Pfad nimmt, hat man womöglich noch den Gedanken im Kopf, dass die Mutter da drin stecken könnte und dass er deswegen äh, bisher gelogen hat. They look like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. Aber mit dem anderen Pfad, den wir schon gesehen haben, können wir uns jetzt schon zusammenreimen, dass er hier die Wahrheit sagt und wirklich das nicht sehen konnte. Ich did, I got stabbed in my gut. That is what we witnessed in his somnium. Yeah. About my brain waves and odors. It's all right. As I mentioned earlier, both your brain waves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Ah, ich bin okay. Kein Problem. Peter's calm as usual. Offer a genuine apology. I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some dumb pee at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Hm? Or you can lick my shoes. Either or. I vow to never apologize for anything <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Okay, gucken wir uns mal ein bisschen um. Different strings of characters and numbers continue to score on the monitor. A locker. Uh. Hey, did you hear something just uh, now? Um, uh, I did not. Perhaps you're imagining it. Uh, uh, locker in the corner. Okay. Vergesse ich jetzt einfach mal. 
Hier hat nicht irgend, auf irgendeinem Pfad meinte doch auch jemand mal, die Putzfrau würde sich da immer drin verstecken. Weiß gar nicht, ob das jetzt der Song aus dem Dings war. CRT Monitor. I open it up. It's stuffed with mysterious mushrooms. Steel shelf. Huh. Boss looks more upset than angry right now. This door leads to the sink room. Okay, ich schätze, das war jetzt mal alles Interessante hier. You can see the sink machine through the window. After the sink, Oda changed it into his usual cloth. He looks hard, sitting on the chair. How are you feeling? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh! Oh, it hurts. <laughs> it started acting up suddenly. Ow! It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date! Don't blame me. That was boss. I'll sue you for this! Oh, come on. Nor... How about this? Get me one of the straws Tessa used, and I won't sue you. Ugh. I see Ota is back to his healthy self. Uh -huh. Guess so. How about the hook and the polar bear's leg? Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Hmm. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. I relay the information to Boss and Pure. Why were you hiding the knife in your room? Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. <laughs> I have more experience than you. What did y'all got saying? So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. Yeah, ja, es gibt ja auch überhaupt nicht viele Leute in der Welt. Soll ich einfach mal komplett jede Straße in Tokio abklappern und an jeder Tür klingeln und fragen, ob jemand humpelt? How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? Genau, was ich gerade sagte. What? Date, what is the matter? Date! Are you all right? Dienstag, 2 nach 8 Uhr morgens. Hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? Oh, you're alive. What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. 
You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. So, ich gucke mich erstmal eben um, bevor ich mit dir rede. A big window. Uh, a bench press. A one-seater sofa. A desk. A PC. There's a corkboard on the wall. Okay, sieht aus, als wäre wieder nichts da. Trash can. Small filing cabinet. Okay, a bunch of documents there. Large speakers. The speakers are actually mostly hollow. Audio equipment. Coffee table. Top is glass. Okay. Add a rabbit. Gave it to Mizuki on her birthday entrance. Refrigerator. Mit den Schnecken drin. Okay, gibt es wohl nichts. Uh, good. Don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? <laughs> Taking the day off for morning. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sits up. I see. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Sorry. Did Boss and Peter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. <laughs> you should probably prepare for a funeral soon. <laughs> so they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Mizuki is sitting on the edge of the bed. Where's Ota? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Hmm. Time to get back to the investigation. Goodbye. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Date, please. Mizuki. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years, but clearly she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Tell Mizuki that you will take her with you. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. You're welcome. I get up, grab the towel from the sink, and toss it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with the towel and smiled weakly. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. Bezo. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. Mm, yeah. We Maybe need to there. revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. She looks like she just washed her face. She's ready. Are we ready too? Yeah, so bald ich uh, kurz auf Toilette war. Bis gleich. Also, wo Christian doch so der Meisterkoch hier ist, frage ich mich ja gerade, wie würdest du eigentlich ein Auge zubereiten? Wo es doch immer in den Magen gefunden wurde. Von Renju. I remember telling you before. Oh. That Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Ja, stimmt. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. Gar nicht, ist glaube ich die einzig richtige Antwort hier drauf.
They fought a lot. But sometimes they got along. Sometimes? Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. If it's rare to see your parents laughing together, that's probably not a good sign. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Huh. Mom was standing right next to me. Uh -huh. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. Moment mal, Shoko und Adami konnte nett sein. <lacht> wow. Jetzt wäre mir fast der Controller weggefallen. Ich will mich mal eben umgucken, wie üblich. Kawasaki District Buildings in the distance. The holographic caution tape. The sky is dark and depressing. A merry-go-round horse skirt upside down. It looks pathetic. There's a fence around the merry-go-round. It's a control room. That's where the staff will run the merry-go-round. Ich hätte hier kommt jetzt sonst nichts. Warum habe ich gefragt? Mizuki is riding the merry-go-round ro oh, merry ro yeah, the merry-go-round roars. <laughs> merry-go-round horse. <coughs> have you come here before with friends? Other than last Friday? Nope. I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Muss ich mal nochmal betonen, wie toll ich ihre Synchronstimmensprecherin finde. Why is that? Oder eigentlich so gut wie alle, aber ihre ist eine der von denen, die mir nochmal besonders gut gefallen. How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little, but I did ride the Ferris wheel and the Panda ride. <laughs> They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Which I guess in the end it was. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry <laughs> and out of focus. <laughs> wow, wow. Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. Wow, that's that's forecomed. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Well, that's just sad. Say nothing. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date. Huh? How do you define family? Oh. Uh, define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Hmm. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is what I think. Uh-huh. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Hmm. Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically Without even thinking about it is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. Oh. I killed them. What? What? I killed mom and daddy. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I... I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. What? what? And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. This... All of this... 
is all my fault. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? <laughs> I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Oh, damn. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. <laughs> Sucks as I forgot it was. I'm doing more than anyone. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. Oh, Rückblick zum Untersuchen. Bar counter. Ich schätze mal, hier ist jetzt auch nichts mit. Kann ich wenigstens ein Refrigerator? Okay. Uh. Ich speichere mal eben hier nicht, dass ich wieder aus Versehen was auswähle, bevor ich alles hören kann. Where is Mizuki now? Sleeping at home, not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Uh, alleine? Do you want to call it a night? What? Why? I finally get some time to myself and you want to end it? Date, really, just let her talk a little longer. Uh, what do you think? I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko, no, 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 no. <laughs> There, I scolded her. It's like a hood. I'll take a drink. You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. Mama's polishing the bonito, as usual. Okay, fine. Listen to the rest of the story. <coughs> Shoko is drunk. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. Ich meine, ich kann verstehen, dass das frustrierend ist, aber ich meine, hätte sie vielleicht nicht schwanger werden sollen, wenn dir das so wichtig war. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. Klar, das ist auch einfach zu sagen, ist ja nicht immer so geplant. Das ist eine schwere Sache. Aber es ist schon ein bisschen hart, da dann so mit umzugehen. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never ah. raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? Ja, genau, dann haust du sie einfach. Das löst bestimmt alle Probleme. What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? Echt mal. That's no reason to hit a child. So, of course, she starts crying. <lacht> Hier und Rosa talking. Echt mal, die würden sich super verstehen. Ja, klar, was hast du denn erwartet? Du haust ein Kind und es fängt an zu weinen. Äh, große Überraschung. Soll ich dir auch noch erklären, was 1 plus 1 ergibt? And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again oh to get her God. to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Big surprise. Why are you crying? Because you fucking hit her. If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Because she's a child. Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. Die hätte vielleicht nicht Mutter werden sollen. It was my misunderstanding. Ach, jetzt kriegen wir ihn auch noch. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. 
Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Hmm. What do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? I don't know, maybe we could have one together. Yeah, good point. <laughs> really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Listen to Ren's story. Uh, what time are you close tonight? When you two are done talking. Ja, aber Mama ist also der Begriff für die meisten Barbesitzer und Besitzerinnen in Japan. That's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Aber ich glaube, sie wäre wirklich eine tolle Mama. Oder er. Ist eigentlich ein Typ, aber ich nehme mal an, er, er möchte sie genannt werden. I do feel bad about Shoko. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Duh. <laughs> Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Good lord. Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage, maybe Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Couldn't you step in to take over the parenting? I have a company now. Ach, toll, das ist natürlich total wichtig. Ich meine, ja, aber trotzdem. Lemniske. We're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. What's that saying? Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. <laughs> you don't say. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both <laughs> awful parents. <laughs> Danke, Date. Danke sehr. <laughs> Ich, endlich, also ich meine, was heißt endlich, er hat ja jetzt vorher auch schon nicht unbedingt ein Blatt vom Mund genommen, aber es ist schön, dass er das jetzt gerade mal einfach so gerade raus sagt. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> hmm. 